the, the camera shot. is recording the whole time. Is that has that been the plan? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is gonna be the one, the Dude, like, most casual piece, video like, of all time. Okay. This is gonna be right here. Okay. We're gonna break the records. I'm casual into it. Video We're gonna cash. break records for the chillest video. We're talking about cash. The woodworking game. This Testing, testing, one, two, three. Hi, my name is Ben Paik from Wolby Design and I'm gonna try to make a bench out of concrete and skateboards. Woo! Yeah! Got it? Woo. That's how it's done. Woo. Yeah! And that's music. Woo! Okay, first, I need to make a concrete mold out of these melamine sheets, according to Johnny Bill. Testing it to see if it fits. Johnny Builds brought out a one wheel and it claimed so many victims right off the bat. Toast crashed first. Yeah. So our boy Johnny Brooks from Crafted Workshop immediately like <laughs> just eats it. So now that that's done, we're gonna apply a coat of paste wax so that the silicone caulk can remove easier. Today on Modern Bills. Modern Bills. Yeah. 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 Today. Nice. Ow. Oh, Careful, my man. Uh, Yo, this is empty. Live center. <laughs> yeah. Let me go over the anatomy. Here. We got some stuff. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's find yeah. another can. <laughs> Not bad for a hundred dollar saw. Super pro. Super pro. Mike Clifford from Industrial Maker made a concrete ping pong table. I was a little worried when he was saying that was what he was going to build because that's a big project that a lot can go wrong. And Mike Clifford's a beast. He pulled it off, built a really awesome concrete ping pong table with a steel base. How long until uh, it dries out? Uh, two and a half hours. Oh, the caulk? Yeah. Oh, I thought it was going to dry off in like 10 minutes. No, you got to let it go for a little bit. Oh. Yeah. Why? <laughs> Ready for this? Ooh. Well, that's my form. 
That was clean. Ooh. That was clean. <laughs> that felt good, right? <laughs> this makes the whole like yeah. paste wax and everything worth it. I like that. So Ben Pake, who already works with skateboards, yeah. wanted to incorporate skateboards into concrete somehow. And you and him workshopped a pretty cool idea. It was essentially a concrete bench with some skateboard stripes incorporated into it. But like we've said before, Ben was playing host and I was really doing my best to sort of be everybody's shop hand. So for the majority of most days, I just had people shout like, Mike, where's this? Where's that? I need just more batteries. Like Getting loose. Still not rolling, by the way. Oh, <laughs> That's what I was sort of doing. I was making sure everybody had everything they needed. Well, in this case, what Ben Paik needed was just a baseline knowledge of concrete. Now, I'm not the guy for that, but for some reason, I felt like I should have stepped into that role. And so I was like, yeah, Ben, let's make this whole thing. So me and him set up a concrete mold. We made a really good mold, but we did not pour the concrete correctly. Each night, after everybody was building and after we all had dinner, we sort of wound down. We uh, we had a nice little fire pit. We had a little bit of, uh, you know, let's just say we had the legal substances in California. You know what I mean? Let's just say that we were drinking yeah. a little bit and everybody was just hanging out and getting loose, getting loose, getting loose. And this night we decide, hey, it's 11 o'clock at night. We're already maybe a little bit more drunk or intoxicated as we should have been. Let's pour this concrete mold so we can let it cure overnight. Let's just do it. We'll save so much time. This is what Ben does all day. <laughs> and so we get some quick re countertop mix, which is a concrete mix with no aggregate. So it's really, really, really fine. There's no gravel in it, um, but it's got kind of like a high silica ratio so it bonds and stays a little bit stronger. We pour this mold for the concrete bench that he wanted to make. It was absolute <laughs> chaos. 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 We're good, baby. What a better time than 10 o'clock at night. And we let it sit for about 30 hours to pull it out of the mold to realize Oh no, we never vibrated the air bubbles out of this. We just poured the concrete, put the plywood backer board in so that we could attach legs to it later on, and completely forgot to vibrate any of the air bubbles out. But at the end of the day, it made for a really, really, really cool surface texture. Hit it, Ben. Right, so it had a kind of a lunar look. It looked like moon craters. So it was a total disaster and a total project failure for that thing. It crumbled, but yeah. It crumbled to death. I saw that texture, which is, you know, any concrete expert will tell you is like, oh, that's really poorly poured concrete. But it had a cool aesthetic, and now I want it to figure like out. It looked like moon craters. It was insane. It was so cool. So now I have to figure out how to recreate that fail and then encapsulate it in an epoxy to create sort of a lunar-looking white concrete table. Yeah. How do I end this video? We could break it. You throw an axe at it? Yeah! Let's do that. Yo, I know. You ready? Okay, so oh, I hold me, I'll hold it like a karate board, and uh -huh. you go full sidekick in it. Okay. So, I'm actually in Dallas right now for my day job, and before I show you how I sidekick it to Mike's face, I want to take this time to thank the sponsor of this video, which is Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. It has award-winning design templates which has been crafted to match your style as well as your professional needs. And it automatically translates onto your mobile devices and tablets. There are no additional plugins necessary and you can purchase your domains directly from Squarespace. And as you already know, majority of the makers that I was hanging out with use Squarespace. So head on over to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to build a website, go to squarespace.com slash Wobi to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. That's squarespace.com slash Wobi to save 10% off. Thanks, Squarespace.
Got it, Johnny. I don't know where it's going to go, but I know where we're going to start. And, and that is? It's a recap of Makesgiving 2019. We had a bunch of people out over the week, kind of spanning from one weekend to the next. Built a lot of projects and sort of just got an opportunity to connect people that hadn't already met before and get a lot of really cool videos out of it. Kyle Toth brought a lathe. We actually hooked it up to the Goal Zero and we actually yeah. discovered that we could power his small lathe from a solar panel in the Goal Zero. Got a YouTube video with Kyle Toth now. That's super legit. Ben Paik from Wobie Design was like milling up skateboards. Eric from Cutworks was welding up a giant skateboard press for uh, Ben Paik. And Eric then, from Cutworks helped out everybody. Yeah, he's the, real, he's the real MVP. I learned how to throw an ax from yeah. Alex from Mr. Build It. And it was an ax that uh, Ben Paik from Wobie Designs made. And then Ben made a ax throwing target. And with then, your face on it? Well, <laughs> he collaborated with Stacy, uh, Eric's yep. wife, and they s put a silhouette of my face on the axe throwing target. It's a very shepherd fairy looking piece of artwork, and yep. it has a bunch of axe holes now in it. Seems like a lot of people were hitting bullseyes. I don't know if that's a. Just speaks <laughs> to the motivation. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it turns out everybody that was here was just like the nicest guy so willing to share all of their secrets, everything they knew, everybody that was an expert in something was eager to help. You know what's funny? You always know the sign of when you're hanging out with like good people is that you may be not get a lot of sleep because you're staying up late talking, having fun. You know, everyone's working really hard. So you're kind of exhausted, but you still feel energized mentally about what yeah. you got to do next. So I was like exhausted. It was a long week. We did a lot of stuff. We went on an epic hike. Yeah. But I s feel like physically tired, but like mentally energized. And that's the way to do it, man. That's the, the sh that's best case scenario. So shout out to everyone that was there. For all the things we described on my Instagram, Benjamin Ueda, uh, if you go to the highlights, I have a, a highlight titled Makes Giving, and it has about 70 stories from the week. So yeah. you'll see a little bit of, of everything. And I have the same at Modern Build, so check yeah. those out. And I'm sure plenty of people have done the same. Aside from that, thanks you guys for watching. This has been a very fun episode. Sorry that Chris wasn't able to make it, but at the end of the it's day... It's his birthday. Dang it, man. I was about to just wish him happy birthday. And until next time, everybody, this has been the Modern Makeup Podcast. We appreciate it, and we'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.